Hey guys, it's Sammy and today we have another spooky video. I just randomly got this idea in my head. Um, I think I was kind of thinking like what spooky videos can I do this season and then I looked up at my Bob Ross painting that I did in that one video where I tried to follow his painting video and I was like what can I do that's spooky and I was like oh my god the nun from the conjuring well first of all I'm sure you know that the movie the nun in the conjuring universe is out now i haven't seen it yet and i'm dying i'm dying i'm dying i want to see it so bad but it started actually it started in the first one okay i, I just i love these movies and how everything connects like even the annabelle movies like oh my god i just but in the second conjuring is when ed warren paints this nun he does paintings when he gets kind of random visions of something and it just happens to be a real life demon i don't want to give it away if you haven't seen it if you haven't seen the second one but it it's a demon that has been basically following lorraine and then um kind of showed itself um in the second one its name is what is it val valik i tried to look up tutorials so i could follow along and there was a couple of them but they were like actual like professional people that were like really good so I was like you know what you know I I'm gonna take my love and my passion for these movies and just throw it on the canvas and just use my eyes and my brain and my heart and my hands and do it myself just see where the the wind takes me I'm just gonna be looking at a picture for reference and I googled it and there's quite a few different versions so hmm. but yeah a lot of them have like lighter like yellow eyes and some have white and some have teeth and some don't so i'm just gonna like look at the whole search of this and let's see what we can do hi so my gopro might die um and i am wearing pants i'm just wearing shorts um and i have my little bob ross thing here and it's all i'm like looking at this camera like it can see me okay so i got my black my white and my gray because that's pretty much all that's in here which I, I i don't know if that's gonna make it easier or harder um okay i'm getting very overwhelmed it's like what bob always says the hardest part of painting is having to make those decisions like where to put the face <sighs> i can't okay so i'm gonna i can't even i can't even start i'm getting spooked not really spooked i'm just have anxiety oh i oh it ruined i ruined it i ruined it i ruined it I guess it wouldn't be entertaining if I did it good. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, okay, I made the mistake of looking at a bunch of different ones because some of this, some of them have this as like kind of dark and some of them have it as white. And I can't make decisions to save my life, so... Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Um, let's do... Oh, oh god, this is really hard! <laughs> oh, ruined. Oh god, I gave her a giant head. Oh god, what if this demon... Oh my god, because this is a real demon, right? Is it gonna, like... Come to life because I made her look like crap? If this, like, looks semi-scary... Or like good or just scary bad I should like leave it in my mom's bed because she works at night so I could just like leave it on her bed for when she gets home <laughs> happy spooky day -doo -doo, -doo. hey it's kind of you know looking I haven't really done anything but it's looking like I have um also I do have a couple covers that I want to do for spooky time Oh, I'm getting that blending going. I didn't mean to, but it's happening. It's just happening naturally. So since I have loved scary movies like my entire life, 
I've been like disappointed by them a lot um, in the past uh, cause they're not scary enough for me and I mean I want to like I don't just want jump scares I want like something that's actually scary but actually has a good story and I know it's like kind of high standards you know it's kind of a lot to ask for a horror movie cause you know it can be taken so many ways but um but the conjuring I seriously the the right when I saw it for the first time I was like that was good I was not disappointed whatsoever and it just it really it really tickled my soul like Ed and Lorraine Warren I've never heard of them before this and I just like really loved them as well, like the fact that they're real people like I just like I just love them I just I love the characters and I mean I'm kind of biased because I love me some Patrick Wilson and it was just good scary but it was it was just a good story and the back and forth with the you know the two separate stories was like like just so good okay what am I doing love is kind of crazy with a spooky little boy like you that may or may not be a hint or a sneak peek to one of the covers I will be doing and I would not have ever thought of that song if it wasn't for Riverdale but it used to play all the time um, when I worked at Hot Topic I loved the Halloween station oh my god I love um, all the songs that came on there and then I try to remember all of them and then I put them on a playlist on YouTube so I can listen to it whenever I want I'm very nervous. I feel like this is a very hard part. It's basically just a... Oh, I screwed up. It's basically just a black... black eyes. So I can't really mess it up, but I can. Because I did. And I am. And I will. Oh god, the nose just seems very hard to me. Oh no. <laughs> Who is freaking excited for for Riverdale coming? When is it? Is it October 5th? I am so excited I can't even. So the mouth I'm also concerned because it's just like the eyes, it's just you can't really make it's just a kind of a blob. Okay, I cannot stall anymore. Oh. I've committed. Oh god, this is hard. I'm very stressed out. <laughs> Now I'm getting really focused. Yeah, I don't want it to look so boxy like lines, um, so I'll uh, uh, throw some more shade. Gotta get that contour, girl. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> oh my god, why is it so bad? It was okay, why did I screw it up? Many, many minutes later. Okay, here's the finished product. Now I wish- wait, oh, now I want to make a change. Crap. Oh, that makes a big difference, dude. Okay, that- I added a little gray in the center and then kind of put black back over it. Okay, it kind of captures it a little bit more. Like, the scary- because she has like really beady eyeballs, like you can barely see them. But I didn't have like a light color, so I just went with the gray, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, you can tell it's inspired by it. Definitely not a replica or something or anything. Um, it does, it's still creepy, but you know, it's not like, like, I don't, I don't know. It's not like how you look at it in the movie, but I did, I left her beauty mark. I didn't try to scrub it out. People pay good money for those and she got hers for free. Yeah, um, let me know what other things you want me to paint if you want me to do another spooky painting because I have one canvas ready and let me know what other spooky videos that you want to see this was actually really fun I like doing this but yeah that's it guys uh, thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time